Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Climb Kodiak Gore-Tex jacket. Climb's Kodiak Gore-Tex jacket is their range-topping road touring jacket and it's made for long days in the saddle all year round. This is their updated 2021 version of the jacket with some big revisions that have impressed some of our riders who own the previous Kodiak jacket. The idea is that this jacket can function through the heat, the cold and the rain thanks to top class materials and clever use of venting and layers. Premium quality like this means a premium price and this jacket doesn't disappoint on that score. The current RRP on this Kodiak Gore-Tex jacket is £1,229.99p. Right, for those who are still watching, let's run through what makes this jacket stand out from its competition. The main shell is made from the most serious, waterproof and breathable textile material around, Gore-Tex Pro Shell 3 layer laminate. That means the best performance at stopping water getting through the shell and it means much faster drying time. Usually it only takes a few minutes of riding in dry weather to get this jacket dry and it won't even take very long if you end your ride in the rain. This new 2021 version of the jacket also uses a new material, Gore-Tex Stretch. It's under the armpits and the name does a pretty good job of explaining what it is and what it does. It's Gore-Tex that stretches. The folks here who own the previous Kodiak like the way that new material improves the flexibility over the jacket that they own. Then there are leather reinforcement overlays at the shoulders and the elbows for added slide resistance, just as there were on the older Kodiak jacket. The jacket fastens with a simple chunky zip up the front that's protected by a velcroed storm flap and that zip is actually two-way so you can leave it fastened, undo it slightly at the bottom for a little bit more room or to let some air flow through. The collar fastens with velcro and there are twin loops to pull both sides back onto these hooks just here to give yourself some more air and some more room around the throat. You can tighten the collar with this pull cord at the rear and there's also a detachable storm collar included. This attaches to the base collar and you fasten it, this one, up before putting your helmet on over the top to give you a good rain seal. There are vents on this jacket at the biceps, the armpits, forearms and lower back. The forearm vents are particularly effective as they tend to be pointing into the wind when riding an upright touring bike. Climb have gone to some trouble to make the exhaust vents on the back accessible while wearing the jacket and that's worked really well. I could operate both of those vents without taking the jacket off, even though I've got a bit of a dodgy left shoulder. The fact this is made from Gore-Tex laminate is a really strong point when it comes to venting. Having the waterproof membrane directly laminated to the outer shell means it separates when the vent is undone, which allows air to flow directly through rather than having to pass through the membrane. It does also mean you need to make sure your vents are firmly done up when it rains, or you'll soon get water streaming through those vents. I've been there, done that, got the very soggy and unflattering wet t-shirt. There are four separate types of fit adjuster on the Kodiak jacket. There are belts above and below each elbow and also at the waist, plus there's a pull cord drawstring to seal the bottom hem tightly. The cuffs have been revamped over the older jacket and now have a wider opening that combines with those forearm vents. So you can close the cuff and then open the vent. The Kodiak owners who work here say it's much easier to get this cuff over their gloves than it was on the previous version that they own. So the last thing to cover on the outside of this jacket is pockets, as well as two at the hips. There are two on the chest, and this one on this side has a key loop, so you can hook your keys to that and never wonder where you've put your house keys. There's a small pocket now over the top of the left breast pocket, which is designed to hold a GPS tracker for those who are going around the world and might want people to know where they are at any given time. The final pocket is on the left wrist and it's big enough for a card which is really handy if you're using auto routes and need a credit card to pay at toll booths. So that's the outside of this jacket. Let's work through what's on the inside now. There are four internal pockets and a full set of armour that meets the higher level two of the CE standard. That covers shoulders, elbows and back. There are pockets in this jacket for optional upgrade chest protectors. They come with what Climb calls siliconized spacer mesh pads slotted into them. Don't confuse those spacer pads with protection. You'll need proper stuff in there if you actually want to look after your chest in an impact. And talking of protection, the overall CE rating for this jacket is single A, the most basic level within the CE standard for an armoured jacket. 
When they announced this jacket, Climb initially said it would come without the kidney belt that was included with the old model, but they've gone back on that now, and this jacket does come with the kidney belt after all, though if it's not something you want to use, you can easily take that out. Climb jackets don't normally have a warmth layer included, but the Kodiak does come with something a little bit special. There's a standalone down puffer jacket that can be worn under the main jacket when you need to stay warm. It's impressive in its own right with a genuine down filling and stitchless construction at each of the ribs so these can't get hooked on any Velcro and start to come undone. It also folds down into the right pocket as a sort of stuff sack so it takes up much less room in your luggage. Finally with this jacket there's a longish connection zip inside to attach to the matching Kodiak trousers. They're made in much the same way as the jacket and cost £749.99 so the combination of the two comes in just shy of two grand. Now that is a hell of a lot of money for many of us to spend on bike kit, but hopefully the last few minutes have explained a bit about why this suit costs what it does and what it can do for riders who are serious about piling up big miles. I hope that tells you all there is to know about the Climb Kodiak Gore-Tex jacket, but if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.